Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro.com. Today we're going to be revisiting a topic that I covered a few months ago. Back then it was based on Angular 2 in Material. Now it's going to be Angular 4 in Material. And this time we're not just recovering it just because Angular 4 came out. It's because there's breaking changes associated with using Material in Angular 4 compared to Angular 2. So that tutorial that I wrote a few months ago no, no longer works with the new Material design. So I'm going to cover the new process of integrating and using material design. Let's get started. Oh, but real quick, before we begin, make sure you check out my site, Coursetro.com, where you're gonna find a bunch of courses on modern design and development. A lot are free and the others you can access for the cost of buying me like a six pack each month, that's it. Now also, it probably wouldn't hurt to subscribe here on YouTube and be sure to make sure the notifications are turned on. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so we're going to start a new project here with the Angular command line interface or the CLI. And uh, I'm just going to assume that you already have it installed. But if not, and you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can check out our free Angular 4 course from scratch and it covers installation and all that. So assuming you have that already installed, let's go ahead and type ng new. I'm just gonna name this ng4 hyphen material for the project name. Now it takes a couple minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause. I'll come right back. All right, once it's done, let's go ahead and CD into it. All right, so now we're going to use NPM to install two different packages. So NPM install, we're gonna save it to our package.json, Angular material, and also at Angular animations. So of course we're installing material because well, we want to use material and then second, and then this is something that's different for Angular 4 verse 2. We have to install animation separately because it's no longer included in the Angular core library. And we're also installing it here because material components, some of which need access to the animations library. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just run our app. And let's hop into a code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. All right, I have the project open here. And let's go ahead to our source app and app module TS file. So we did install the animations. So let's go ahead and import that real quick. So the line for that is import browser animations module. All right. And then we add that as an import, put a comma there. And then also what's different compared to the Angular 2 material is we're going to import just the modules or the components from material that we intend to use. Okay, so let's go ahead and real quickly, I'm, I'm following along on the written tutorial. I'm just going to paste in that line real quick. So I'm importing, I plan on using the buttons, cards, menus, the toolbar and icons. So there's a lot more, of course, depending on what your needs are. So let's go ahead also, I'm going to import all of those after our browser animations module. So that's those six right here, or five rather, sorry about that. All right, so let's save that. And one thing you may be wondering to yourself is like, well, okay, well, how do you know the names of these? Well, that's when we get out the official Angular material documentation which is right here. So we could see if we click on any of these, like menu, for instance, say, let's say for instance, you want a menu. Well, we'll go ahead and click on API reference and there you go. It lets you know the module name for that particular component. And then basically it's the same thing for all of these. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Get control B to get up here. And from this point on, I mean, basically that's all the setup is required. You just have to make sure that you import the necessary modules here, as well as in the imports based on what you want to use. And then you're free to develop your application and work with your template in integrating the uh, material components in here. So before we get to the HTML section, I just want to real quickly do a mock, uh, just a very simple sort of, I wouldn't even call it an app. I would just call it a demonstration um, about how to use material. And of course, I, this is not a tutorial that's gonna go in depth in terms of how to work with uh, Angular, Angular material. Uh, but again, it's just to show you how to use it real quickly. So real quick, uh, in our main component, 
uh, we're going to import the HTTP library because we're going to use something uh, called JSON placeholder dot typey code or type I code uh, dot com. Basically, let me get out the uh, website real quick. This is it real quickly. And basically, it just provides you with different uh, JSON endpoints that you can uh, grab JSON data from. So we're going to use uh, this photos right here. And just to get uh, just some dummy data just to work with. And we're going to use uh, material cards for that just to list some of those out. All right. So let's go ahead back here. Let's get rid of this title property. So let's create a property real quick. quick. I'll call it my data. It'll be a type of array of any. And then in our constructor, we'll put private HTTP. An instance of the HTTP library right there. And then we'll reference it and we'll pass in that URL uh, for the photos API right here. All right. And then we're going to use the map. We'll take the response to response in JSON format. And then we'll go ahead and subscribe. The response to this dot my data equals response. All right, that's all we're going to do in the this app component here in the TypeScript file. So now in our HTML, before we get to this section, there's a couple other things I want to do. In our styles.css file right here, we're going to import a default theme. Now there's four of which you can use. We're going to use indigo pink. Uh, there's also deep purple hyphen amber. There's pink hyphen blue gray and purple hyphen green. So it just gives you some predefined styles. Uh, real quickly, also, you don't have to add this, but just for demonstration purposes for this tutorial, I'm going to add body padding, a lot of padding on the right and left. And this will help simulate kind of just like an app uh, user interface. Okay, so uh, after that, let's go ahead back to our uh, component HTML. And first we'll use a toolbar. Now let me just show you how to use the documentation uh, because like I said, I'm not going over every single one of these. Um, so we have the toolbar here and the way all these are set up, by the way, is they're set up with uh, an overview, an API reference and an example. So it's, it's really structured well to kind of help you uh, learn how to use it. So we can see it's an MD toolbar tag here. I, we can click on this just to get the source of what it's being shown in the new overview. However, if you go to examples, uh, it'll provide you with a little bit more to go off of. So with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and structure a toolbar real quick. And so I'm just going to paste this in. So you don't have to sit here and watch me type everything. But simply, we're putting a MD uh, toolbar color primary. You can use some other default uh, uh, colors which are alert, I believe. There's secondary, I believe, and it could just change the uh, the toolbar color, essentially. And then I'm um, just putting a span of my company. We're putting in a span class of example spacer. And that's grabbed from that documentation. Uh, and also, we'll go ahead to our app uh, component.css and just reference that class. And that's going to push everything over. And then we have a button here. And we're also going to trigger a menu over here. And again, this is just copied from the, uh, the documentation for the menu. I've also used MD icon. So again, this is why we're importing, for instance, when we use MD icon uh, right here, MD icon module. So if I didn't import that, then that would not work. The icons would not work. All right. And so real quickly. By the way, if you're not sure how these uh, icons work, the fact that we're putting a menu here, um, you can go to materialdesigniconscom uh, and you can do a search right here, like menu, for instance. And that's where I grabbed that from. It's just the name is menu, and that's what you put in between those tags, and it will automatically show the uh, icon font. And in order for that to work, by the way, we have to real quickly step into our index.html. And we're going to paste in, let me hit Control-B so we could see, 
I have two different uh, lines here on 1011 that I pasted in. Uh, the first is the material icons font from Google APIs. And then also we have a font of Roboto or Roboto. Um, and this is a font that material design uses. So we'll save that. And we'll go back to our app components.html. Now, if you save it at this point, make sure you still have your ng serve command ran. And we take a look at it in the browser. This is what we should have so far. Uh, let's make sure this works. I, I thought that was supposed to work. Oh, no, we didn't uh, add the actual menu. Um, we add that through MD menu right here. So we create a local variable of app menu. And this is referenced by the way right here for the MD menu trigger four. So we bound it to a local variable called app menu. We defined it here with an MD menu component. And then for each button inside the menu that's going to pop up once this is but this button's clicked, then we create an MD menu item as a button. So let's save that and now Click it and ta-da, there we go. So we can use uh, click event binding or whatever to make certain things happen here and control it from our component class. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and iterate through the results that we're grabbing right here. No, not right there, from right here, uh, which is bound to my data right here. So we have access to this in the, in the template. And I'm just going to paste in the first line all right, kind of a lot happening here. So we have empty card classes, example card. I'm not even referencing that, so I don't even think we need this. Uh, again, I was just copying this from the uh, documentation. Then we're using the ng4, so let data of my data. Now this line right here, all of this stuff right there, uh, is so that we can just limit the results to 10, the first 10. Otherwise, 5,000 will show up based on that API. And then we're going to access um, the index right here with this semicolon and let i equals index. Now we're, ac we're actually going to do anything with the index, but this is a common practice because um, we're also going to real quickly just add a like and a share button. They're not going to function, but if they were to function, you would need access to this i right here. All right, so then let's go put the closing tag and inside very just simple stuff. So I'm just gonna paste this in. All right, so we have an image. So part of the uh, the data that's returned has a URL property for an image and then we have a card header i don't even think we probably should put that there um i think there's empty card content i'm not sure but either way we're just going to have a title beneath the image right here and then also card actions we have a like and share very simple stuff and you can of course you can also add an icon for each one of these if you want like inside just embedded in there but um i chose not to just to make this quick and now if we go back, there we go. These are all the, this is, this is the exciting images. Isn't that just, yeah, kind of ugly. Either way, yeah, that's how you use Material 4, Angular 4 Plus. All right, so I uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Be sure to check out Corsetro.com. Again, I have uh, courses that I've been adding. I just developed this uh, Create a Mean app, which, which is a three hour and 33 minute course, which is a full stack course. It's really awesome. Learn Angular 4 from scratch, of course. You probably don't need this if you're watching this particular video. But yeah, go ahead and check it out. I look forward to more videos. Subscribe here on YouTube. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Goodbye.